How's it going today guys? Today I'm back again and as promised working on the El Camino. So the first thing I want to tackle after the interior was the fact, hold on, get on in here, is if we open that, um, well, I guess it's not going to work now. But the fuel tank is full of 10 year old gas. And yeah, 10 year old gas doesn't burn very well. So I had to drop the gas tank. Um, I don't know if I quite want to rebuild the carburetor quite yet. Um, I have plans for this car and I have plans to take the motor out eventually. Um, I might run it for a little bit till the other motor is built. So I'm not entirely certain on taking the carburetor apart right now. Um, maybe if I still don't have the motor built by um, the end of winter, which now we're getting into the winter months here in Minnesota. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave the motor the way it is. I'm just going to assess everything else, the gas tank, the interior, and some of the body, but for now, let's just dive right into the gas tank, start taking stuff off that I need off in order to get to the gas tank, and probably tomorrow I'll be able to get the gas tank off. Um, I'm kind of starting a little late today, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Wow, that's a lot of rust. You know, these aren't the best safety glasses in the world, but I'd rather have an orange hue to everything than dust it and rust in my eyes. bolts are so freaking rusty it's kind of ridiculous I mean granted they've probably been on for well actually I have no idea how long this thing's probably been on there but I mean it's still really hot granted I'm touching it but these things have been on so long I literally just shaved all of the rust off of where I had to use the impact. This is kind of ridiculous. Hopefully the other ones come off a lot easier. All 
All right, so I'm gonna try and minimize the sheer amount of time I have to spend on these. I'm hoping that this steel wool will kind of clean up these threads a bit. So it takes like, no joke, like two minutes to just get one bolt out. Uh, the first one took the longest. That was like a sheer 10 minutes because it took me forever just to switch to the uh, gun. Um, but the second one took like two minutes, minute and a half. So I'm hoping the steel wool cleans these threads up decent enough to get these off much freaking faster and with less dust in my face so I'm not killing myself because I don't have a gas mask so I pretty much just have to hold my breath. So I'm, uh, I'm going to get these cleaned up and we'll get back to you on whether these come out easy or not. Not cool. So guys, I finally got that piece out. Um, it was a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's out. All I've got left now is the two tank straps and pretty much, um, well, I still gotta get all the fuel lines out and everything. Um, but other than that, tank's almost ready to pretty much just drop right down. I've gotta get a bike lift from down in the other garage tomorrow and bring that up here so it would be much easier to grab this tank that's full of 10 year old gas. Um, but I got the major thing I wanted out today. It was really rusty. I'm just absolutely coated in this stuff. And uh, it's like 9.30 right now. So I'm pretty much gonna hit the shower and then hit the hay and try and hit it right, right early in the morning. So I'll see you guys then. All right guys, it's the next day and I've got the bike stand in here ready to go. Um, so far from underneath, I need to remove, I need to remove this side first and then I can remove this side, the sides on the bottom. So hopefully then it'll just pretty much just slide right out and make that much easier. All right guys, I finally got the gas tank out. It was a pain in the butt, but it is finally out. Got everything out of it. Um, I mean, there's not much gas in it actually. I think the I think the sending unit is fairly bad on this. Um, but regardless, I wanted to get this out. It was really rusty and um, 
a lot of people are probably going to hate on this, but I'm going to switch it over to EFI. Um, I'm not very good at tuning carburetors. Um, I know I can learn, but um, I pretty much want this to be an entire resto mod. Um, I'm not going to go crazy, though. I'm not going to go, like, digital dash. Um, my plan was just switch it over to Holly Sniper EFI. And uh, pretty much drop the tank, get new get a new tank so I can put it in a fuel pump and everything so this thing's gonna be a be a really nice fun vehicle when I'm done with it but now I can finally get up under here and sandblast everything under here um I do have another rear end for it I have a posi unit for it that I'm gonna put in eventually that's gonna be further down the line when I already have a lot of the stuff um, when I have suspension components for the rear, but for now I'm going to keep the rear end in it. Um, next video though, I think I'm going to address the uh, the engine. I'm going to try and get that running just right so that when I do get it actually on and or everything back together and I can just start it and run it the way it is. Um, because more than likely the motor's not going to be done till probably the end of spring. So I'm going to end this video off here. If you guys liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button. It will really help me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.